Hey everyone, so this video is something a little fun, a little bit different. Thought about mixing it up. We're pretty much in the middle of autumn here now and I wanted to film something that was a bit lighthearted, a little fun. It's the 1st of April here today, so I thought why not film something a little bit lighter, a little bit different. So, can you turn beer into perfume? The answer is that I actually don't know. <laughs> so, the whole concept of this video is a bit of a joke. But what's not a joke is that there actually is a fragrance from VB, which is a beer company in Australia. So they released Thirst Ascent by VB, I think it was a couple of years ago. To be honest, I saw this when I was looking at another fragrance in Chemist Warehouse. I thought it might be fun to film today, being the 1st of April, as a, a bit of a laugh, to be honest. So I don't actually know if you can turn beer into perfume, but if you do know, please leave a comment below. <laughs> this video will actually just be, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a fun one. I thought, why not pick this up? I know I've seen it around. I think it was released in 2020 from what I understand. I don't really know that much about their fragrance and I'm really not their target market. It is a bit of a gimmicky product, but from what I've read, people are surprised that it actually smells decent. So this is Thirst, a scent by VB. The packaging, you can see, it's really inspired by just VB typical looking packaging. The green, the white, the beer bottle on the side. It's just a, you know, an Aussie kind of iconic look to it. Uh, just, you know, your typical Aussie bloke. And I think that's essentially who it's targeted at. The thing, the gimmicky side of it, the marketing side of it, is that it's made with VB Super Pride hops, and that's part of some of the notes in the actual cologne. Um, it's an actual, it's an eau de toilette, but people say it performs more like cologne, so it doesn't last as long. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, show it off, bit of a joke, have a laugh. But some of you might actually find it helpful. Um, probably not, but we'll see. <laughs> So this is the 75ml stubby size. I think they also have like a long neck size, um, which is 150ml or something around that. They are super affordable. They are just a cheapy kind of chuck in your bag kind of fragrance. Um, and it, it, I think it's just meant for a bit of a laugh. Uh, a bit about what they describe it as. Essentially, they're saying it's designed to head straight from the work site, spray it on yourself, and then you can knock off and go to the pub. Marketing genius, really. I mean, I think a lot of people buy this for the novelty, particularly like for a Father's Day gift or just a birthday present or something like that. I think it's a bit of fun. The packaging is definitely spot on. Um, the bottle itself, when you open it up, I actually kind of like it as far as um, a novelty item. It, it is actually packaged quite well um, for such a, a cheap kind of perfume, like affordable perfume. The bottle looks like this. It's actually really rather cool. It's in that dark amber toned glass, so your typical beer bottle kind of look to it. Um, yeah, it's got VB. Look, if you were, if you're actually a fan of VB and you like to collect memorabilia, stuff like that, this would probably be something kind of cool to have in your collection and a little bit different, a little bit fun, a bit of a laugh, conversation piece kind of a thing. It's got some detailing around the top where you can actually see that it's got little, what are these, scalloped edge kind of a thing, almost like a, a bottle cap. Uh, it's got the gold writing and again that amber glass in the shape of a beer bottle. So packaging wise, it's pretty cool. I think one thing that probably would actually let it down in a practical sense if I'm trying to be a little bit more um, serious about this video is that it doesn't actually have a lid. So the actual press uh, for the spray is exposed. So if you were to just chuck this in your work bag or something like that, uh, it could 
get pushed and potentially leak a little from the nozzle um, but it's not a huge deal. So a bit about the spiel for the scent is that it's from the brewers of Vebe where they partnered up with Australia Perfumers to create a scent that's big and bold and designed to go from you know work site to pub. That's how it's aimed, that's how it's marketed, that's who it's for essentially. The notes that they talk about are citrusy notes and icy notes so I'll spray it in a moment and I'll give you my reaction, let you know what I think about the scent even though it's probably not something that's really meant for me. They do class it as a unisex scent. A lot of people have mentioned that, um, but it's probably going to be more masculine, uh, traditionally masculine scent. So the key thing about this and the whole gimmicky side of it about this is it's infused with the VB's hop extract. And I think that's the whole, that's, that's the marketing part of it all. Um, so yeah, it says uh, bitter citrus, icy aromas, sweet hoppy accent to finish. So in other words, it smells great is what they say. Somebody's listed some notes. So I'll walk you through what they've listed as the notes. Uh, they've got top notes of lemon, grapefruit and mint. Heart notes or middle notes of ginger, nutmeg, jasmine and hops, which is the super pride hops from VB. And the base of patchouli and barley. So let's give it a spray and see what we think. It definitely smells cologne-y. I do get the citruses in there. It's not bad, actually. Considering the cost of the fragrance itself, you can get it for 20 bucks or less. It's not terrible. It's just a cheapy one. If you think, as far as the scent goes, it's really fresh. Even something that you would imagine, like a shaving cream kind of a scent, like that really typical white foamy shaving cream that you would use. Um, Lynx kind of deodoranty straight out of the shower, you know, get out of the gym and spray it on yourself and you smell like fresh and citrusy. I kind of understand what they're saying with the icy notes. There is a cool kind of scent to it. So it starts off quite sharp, quite acidic, quite citrusy. It disappears quite quickly though into something that's Icy is a good way to describe it, like they have, is, is that cool, refreshing, fresh, clean smell. And I think, yeah, it probably would make sense that if you were just clocking off work, give yourself a bit of a spray, head to the pub with your mates. It, yeah, it would suit that. It would freshen you up. I still get shaving cream. So, yeah, definitely shaving cream, some, you know, body wash, just that kind of a stuff. So it's really not uh, an offensive smell. It's not too much. I think as a generic, more cologne scent, um, this one, yeah, it's pretty decent. And for the cost, I can see people actually using this. So for the fact that it's sort of more like a gimmicky joke kind of product, um, it's actually decent. So it might be something that you would buy as a joke and you try it and might actually get some use out of it. So that's it for this video. It was just a bit of a laugh. I hope you're all having a fantastic day for the 1st of April, at least for those of you where it is the 1st of April in Australia when this video is being released. I hope you have a good one. And um, yeah, for the rest of you, I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye for now.